Recorded Books and RB Digital present Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Hahn. Narrated by Laura Knight Keating. A quote from Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery. I don't know what lies around the bend, but I'm going to believe that the best does. Chapter 1 I like to watch Peter when he doesn't know I'm looking. I like to admire the straight line of his jaw, the curve of his cheekbone. There's an openness to his face, an innocence, a certain kind of niceness. It's the niceness that touches my heart the most. It's Friday night at Gabe Rivera's house after the lacrosse game. Our school won, so everyone is in very fine spirits. Peter, most of all, because he scored the winning shot. He's across the room playing poker with some of the guys from his team. He's sitting with his chair tipped back, his back against the wall. His hair is still wet from showering after the game. I'm on the couch with my friends Lucas Kraft and Pammy Subkoff, and they're flipping through the latest issue of Teen Vogue, debating whether or not Pammy should get bangs. What do you think, Lara Jean? Pammy asks, running her fingers through her carrot-colored hair. Pammy is a new friend. I've gotten to know her because she dates Peter's good friend Durrell. She has a face like a doll, round as a cake pan, and freckles dust her face and shoulders like sprinkles. Um, I think bangs are a very big commitment and not to be decided on a whim. Depending on how fast your hair grows, you could be growing them out for a year or more. But if you're serious, I think you should wait till fall, because it'll be summer before you know it, and bangs in the summer can be sort of sticky and sweaty and annoying. My eyes drift back to Peter, and he looks up and sees me looking at him, and raises his eyebrows questioningly. I just smile and shake my head. So, don't get bangs? My phone buzzes in my purse. It's Peter. Do you want to go? No. Then why were you staring at me? Because I felt like it. Lucas is reading over my shoulder. I push him away and he shakes his head and says, Are you guys really texting each other when you're only 20 feet away? Pammy crinkles up her nose and says, So adorable. I'm about to answer them when I look up and see Peter sweeping across the room toward me with purpose.